In chemistry, protection refers to the temporary conversion of a reactive functional group. We temporarily convert it into a functional group that is non-reactive so that it can be protected from being changed during some sort of chemical process. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the protection of alcohols. Here's an overview of how an alcohol functional group can be protected, starting with just a generic alcohol, reacting it with TMSCL in the solvent triethyl amine ET3N. This TMSCL stands for trimethylsilane. It's a silicon atom that has three methyl groups attached to it, so it's very bulky. And in this form, it has a chlorine on it. Um, and you can see that these reagents cause the OH group to be converted into this OTMS group. We refer to this as the protected alcohol, and we refer to this first step here as the process of protecting the alcohol. So this is the protection. Once we get the alcohol converted into OTMS, we can go ahead and do whatever sort of reaction we're trying to do on the molecule. The alcohol functional group has been con temporarily converted into this OTMS, which is very non-reactive. And when we're done with the overall reaction, we can then use H3O plus to convert back to the alcohol. This step is known as deprotection converting the alcohol back, or converting back to the original alcohol. Here's an example of how we can use protection in a, a practical way. This is a question where we are being asked to perform this conversion on the aldehyde functional group using specifically a Grignard reagent. Um, so in a reaction like this, the, the ideal Grignard reagent that we would be using, um, because we're trying to add three carbons to the carbon-oxygen double bond, we should be using something like this. Step two, H3O plus. The problem here is that the alcohol functional group on this molecule is very reactive towards Grignard's. So if we combine these two directly with each other, the alcohol functional group is just going to mess with the Grignard's completely, and the Grignard's are also going to mess with the alcohol functional group. So starting with this process is not reasonable because we're going to get interaction between these two um, this, the Grignard and this partic particular functional group, when what we want is the Grignard to be reacting with our aldehyde. So the way that we would solve this problem is just simply to begin by protecting that OH group using TMSCL or any one of the other protecting groups in ET3N, triethylamine. That is going to only serve to convert the alcohol to OTMS. And at this point now, the alcohol has been protected. So we can go ahead and bring in our Grignard, the three carbon chain that's necessary. Uh, and step two, H3O plus, actually I'm not gonna write that step two yet. Um, so we're gonna bring in the Grignard. Initially, we will get the carbon chain has been added and we have this O minus, which you know that in step two of the Grignard process, when we add H3O plus, that's gonna put a hydrogen up here and make the alcohol that we're trying to make. But um, H3O plus is also the reagent that we use for deprotection, so that actually works out kind of nice. Um, when we use the step two H3O plus here, not only does it protonate our oxygen, but it also converts our protected alcohol back to the deprotected alcohol.